Welcome back. In this teaching video, I've looked at 12.5 differentiating functions with two or more terms. 12.5 represents chapter 12, section 5 of the Pearson A Level Maths, Pure Maths Year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. This key fact over here was covered in my teaching video 12.3. Moving on to the next key fact. If y is equal f of x plus or minus g of x for some functions, f of x and g of x, so f of x and g of x can be any random functions, then the gradient function dy over dx is given by term by term differentiation. So f of x differentiates to f dash of x plus or minus g of x differentiates to g dash of x. This is the key fact of 12.5. Let's have a look at an example. Differentiate with respect to x, 2x cubed plus square root x plus x squared plus 2x all over x squared. The first step is to let y equal 2x cubed plus square root x plus x squared plus 2x all over x squared. This first term can be differentiated, so we're going to keep it as it is. 2x cubed plus. The second term cannot be differentiated as of yet. We need to rewrite it using laws of indices. So square root x is the same as x to the power a half. Plus. The third term is a fraction. In pure mathematics year one, we do not cover a rule for differentiating a fraction. Okay, so how do we differentiate this fraction over here? We can split it into two pots. Okay, split it into two fractions, then simplify each term using laws of indices. Okay, so we have x squared over x squared plus 2x over x squared. The first term simplifies to 1 plus the second term simplifies to 2 over x. Now 2 over x, you can rewrite it as 2x to the power minus 1 using laws of indices. So now we can replace this fraction over here with 1 plus 2x to the power minus 1. Right, so now I can work out dy over dx by simply using term-by-term -term differentiation. Let's have a look at the first term. We're going to differentiate this, so bring down the power. 3 times 2 is 6. x to the power, 3 take away 1, which is 2. Plus, let's differentiate this now. Bring down the power, so a half x to the power, a half take away 1, which is minus a half. Now 1 is a constant, so this differentiates to 0. Let's have a look at the next term. Bring down the power, so we've got minus 2x to the power, minus 1 minus 1, which is minus 2. So that there, ladies and gents, is my dy by dx. We have differentiated with respect to x this expression. Here is the answer. Moving on to an exam style question f of x is equal to 12 over p square root x plus x, where p is a real constant and x is greater than 0. Given that f dash of 2 is equal to 3, find p giving your answer in the form a square root 2, where a is a rational number. Let's have a look at the solution. I'm going to start off by rewriting my f of x. Firstly, I know that f of x is equal 12 over p square root x plus x. The first term is a fraction. We do not know how to differentiate a fraction in pure mathematics year one. So what can we do to this? Well, we can actually rewrite it using laws of indices. Let's have a look at this. So we've got 12 over p square root x. This is the same as writing 12 over p multiplied by 1 over square root x. So we've got 12 over p. Remember, p is a constant, so let's just keep in the denominator. Uh, multiplied by 1 over square root x is the same as writing x to the power a half. So we have 12 over p, that's a constant. If we bring x up, the power becomes negative. Okay, so that's what we have. 12 over p square root x can be rewritten as 12 over p x to the power minus a half. So we can rewrite our f of x as 12 over p x to the power minus a half plus x. Now we can use term by term differentiation. So f dash of x is equal, let's differentiate the first term, bring down the power, so we've got 12 over p multiplied by minus a half, which is minus 6 over p x to the power minus a half minus 1, which is minus 3 over 2, plus 
x differentiates to 1. Now I'm going to work out f dash of 2. So f dash of 2. Replace the x with 2, so we've got minus 6 over p. In bracket, 2 to the power minus 3 over 2 plus 1. I want to try and simplify this. Right, so let's have a look at 2 to the power minus 3 over 2. You can rewrite this as 1 over 2 to the power 3 over 2 using laws of indices. So, what do we have here? 2 to the power 3 over 2 using laws of indices is the square root of 2 raised to the power 3. So we have square root 2 multiplied by square root 2 multiplied by square root 2. That there, ladies and gents, simplifies to 2 square root 2. Okay, so we can replace 2 to the power minus 3 over 2 with 1 over 2 square root 2. So we've got f dash of 2 is equal minus 6 over p multiplied by 1 over 2 root 2 plus 1. Okay, so we can simplify this. That there, ladies and gents, becomes minus 6 times 1 is minus 6 over p times 2 root 2 is 2 root 2 p plus 1. Okay, let's take this simplification a step further. So that there simplifies to minus 3 over root 2 p plus 1. Now in the question we are told that f dash of 2 is equal to 3, so we can set this equal to 3. I've got minus 3 over root 2 p plus 1 equal 3. Now all that remains is that I need to solve for p. Take the 1 to the right hand side. This gives me 2. Take the root 2p to the right hand side. So we've got minus 3 equal 2 root 2p. Therefore, p is equal minus 3 over 2 root 2. Which basically simplifies to minus 3 root 2 over 4. That is the answer. Right, so the rational number A is equal minus 3 over 4. This completes the exam style question and the teaching video 12.5 differentiating functions with two or more terms. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.